I'm a political scientist and a political philosopher. And my role is to philosophize issues that bother society. I was doing some readings on death of presidents and head of states and rumors surrounding those deaths. And the findings are very interesting and quite disturbing. Uh, there is an article which you should read why so many African leaders have died of COVID-19. An article published by Center for African Studies in United Kingdom. Why have so many African leaders died of COVID-19? It is published by Dr. Jean Benoit. You can Google and read. The, the findings are very interesting. But what is of interest and philosophical to me today is that in the entire African continent, the issue of death of any human being, let alone the head of state, is treated with a lot of rumors and difficulties. You know what happened in Algeria when Botefilk, Botefrika, in Zambia, Mata, Ma Michael Sata at 77, in Ethiopia, Meles Zenawi in 2012, in Ghana, Atta Mills, Malang Malawi, Bingu, Mutairika, in Guinea-Bissau, Malam Bakai, and in Libya. So these issues affect the societies because our presidents are so powerful that it becomes difficult for even the information to be managed. Now, in this article that was published by Dr. Jean, the Center of African Studies, they were analyzing the COVID-related death of African states. And they state that 17 out of 24 deaths worldwide of the ministers, 17 out of 24 deaths of ministers and presidents worldwide are COVID-related. And in East Africa here, we know in, we lost the president in Tanzania, the revolutionary John Pombe Magufuli in Burundi on the 9th June 2020. We lost president of Burundi in Kuruziza. Also, we lost the former president of Burundi in December 2020, Jean Pierre Buyoya. And uh, this is a COVID-related death, according to the report. And the report states that any president who is beyond 61.2 years old is very unlikely to survive death from COVID. For example, in Zimbabwe in January 2023, three ministers died of COVID. I'm not talking of South Sudan. I'm not talking of Malawi. In, uh, in Guinea, Sekau Korome died in October 2023. But there are also cases of survivors. It's a ray of hope. Hope, hope keeps the society moving. There are survivors. The Algerian president, Abdel Majid Tabone, got COVID and survived. That was in November 2020. Now, this research, this report, which is very interesting, states that the presidents who survived COVID are the ones who are treated in Europe. This Algerian president who survived was treated in Germany. And the report also said, all African presidents and ministers who died of COVID died in their country. Now, why am I raising these issues? Why am I raising these issues? We should start thinking. I was reading a tweet. I was reading a tweet. It's public information. In Uganda, where the president is in self-isolation in COVID-related. But one of the tweets, which is public information, I quote that our enemies tried to attack us and God will not accept. That is for my close member of the family. So in the ordinary eyes, we think it's the normal contraction of COVID. We know our president has been putting on masks throughout, but the tweet from one of the closest family members said our enemies tried to attack us and today they have learned to get well soon. I personally pray our president gets well soon. It's our prayer. 
But the bigger question, which is philosophical, in my opinion, as Odong author, is we need to pass a law. We need to pass a law that regulates the declaration of the sickness, health, and death of the president. We need those laws. Because it is, we are surrounded by a lot of mysteries. We need laws. Let me ask two questions. Ask yourself why 90% of the secretaries and executive positions in Kenya, why many people were appo appointed in the last week of the survival of President Jomo Kenyatta. Why? The last week of his life on earth is where, is where many people walked with papers of appointment. Does it ring a bell? So we need a law that regulates, that controls information so that the world can know because the society is getting alarmed. What is going on? We need, the public needs to know because so many things leans and lies on the president. So we need a law. In the absence of a law, information can be kept away from the public even for six months until certain things are in order. We need a law. Our parliament there, we need a law. I really pray our president gets well soon. And this is the first time in 38 years that I'm hearing that our president of Uganda has fallen sick. The first time. And the other time was when he knocked his finger in a gym. So two times in 38 years. So the laws would regulate. As human beings, people fall sick. I personally fall sick. So we pray, get well soon. And uh, everything should be well. But please read that article. I'm just provoking debates and thoughts. Thank you. And God bless you. God bless you, Kanda.